right here in our very own special effects water tank. Now water tanks just like this one continue to play a major role in action films. Here are the explosive, out of control mayhem that you see in movies like Crimson Tide, The Rock, and Pearl Harbor can all be created using large scale mechanical and physical effects. The action is then filmed with a carefully planned sequence of events. And today you guys are in luck because we are in pre-production for our very own action sequence that we like to call Harbor Attack. We're going to be using some of the same special effects that directors like Michael Bay use in their films. Now, if you'll turn your attention to those overhead monitors, here's Michael to set the scene. In this scene, a patrol boat is on a surveillance mission, searching the skies for enemy aircraft, who is caught off guard when the real danger surfaces from beneath the sea. This is going to require a full range of physical effects, split-second timing, and careful direction. We have the lights, we have the cameras, all we need now is the action. And if anybody knows about serious action, it's certainly Michael Bay. Some of the effects that we'll be using in this scene include water cannons, which have been pressurized up to 100 pounds per square inch. We also have bullet hits, which have to be carefully timed and programmed to match the sequence of the visuals, as well as the pattern of our sound effects. And the last but probably the most important physical effect in a scene like this is fire, which must be ignited at a precise moment because it takes a lot of time and work to reset the charges for an explosion. Uh, of course, the number one consideration in the timing of all these effects is the safety of our actors here on the set, and that's where you come in. Everyone, please give Mitchell a big round of applause! Yay! We have the cast the mechanic in our scene today. Your scene is going to take place way down here in the engine room of our PT boat. Now, you don't have to swim. You can follow Stephanie, and she'll show you right where to go. All right, we're going to be filming two scenes today, but not in the order in which they appear in the script. Many movies today are shot out of sequence, which means that actors have to react to a situation which may not have yet been filmed. This can be difficult, so it's up to the director to provide the motivation for the scene. All right, Mitchell, here's the setup. The boat next to you is going to buzz as 800 gallons of water are going to dump out of those tanks, fly down that chute, and slam into you like a freight train. Are you feeling motivated to hang on? Good. It's actually 1,000 gallons of water, but we find there's a fine line between motivation and fear. All right, roll, playback, and action. Pick up the phone and talk to your captain. Let him know you just lost your engine. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> You were fantastic in that last scene. Now I have one more acting task for you to do. I need you to sit there in that blue chair, stare dramatically out of the audience, and act dry. <laughs> we're going to give you a couple minutes to work on that. Well, let's add that shot into our next scene. See how it all ties together in the final sequence. Our next scene takes place on the deck of our PT boat, and here's Stephanie to introduce the rest of our brave crew. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a big round of applause for our Captain Jeffrey? Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. All right, roll playback. Remember, you guys are on a surveillance mission. And action. All right, Captain, pick up those binoculars. Start scanning the skies for enemy fighters. Crew, I want to see that deck nice and clean. You're going to see that.
sequence looks like when we add some computer generated images, a couple of lines of pre recorded dialogue, and an exciting musical score. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present Harbor Attack. <laughs> Behind the scenes tour. On behalf of Stephanie, myself, and our brave volunteers.